So two of our current projects uh, in the research lab have a lot of uh, clinical import. Uh, one of those is uh, studying a genetic mechanism with which we may be able to treat lung cancer. Unfortunately, the overall survival for patients who are diagnosed with lung cancer is only about 14%. The main reason for that is that it, um, it presents late, and when we do catch it, we don't have a way of treating it effectively. So we're approaching this from two stand, standpoints. Uh, one is we're trying to screen for lung cancer so we can get that disease at an earlier stage, and we have now embarked on a large uh, screening program. And second is uh, to try to work out ways that we can treat the disease when it is discovered. And um, we have a number of researchers in our basic science lab who are working on a unique gene called the LKB1 suppressor gene. And we believe this is going to give us a unique opportunity to treat a number of patients who present with a specific genetic signature of lung cancer. Another area of great interest is in esophageal cancer. We do know that there is a precursor lesion for this, this disastrous disease, and that precursor lesion is Barrett's esophagus. And Barrett's arises from heartburn or reflux disease, something that we all know uh, all too much about. But Barrett's esophagus can lead to cancer, but it does so in a stepwise progression much like polyps in your colon can progress to colon cancer. And we believe that we have a means to try to treat some patients that have some of these markers in the very, very early stages before they progress to cancer and to stop the disease before it becomes something that requires a lot of surgery, a lot of chemotherapy and radiation.